friends. Welcome back to Bucket List Homestead. I have a very busy week planned. I have some chores I need to get done and reorganizing my pantry and the store and preparation for canning projects I have planned in the coming weeks. But first, I'm starting my morning the same way I have been for the last couple of months. I've been crocheting a half hour to an hour first thing in the morning with my first cup of tea of the day, and the mental health benefits have been amazing. I feel less stressed. Um, I'm less anxious. I'm more calm. It has been a great way to start every day the last few weeks. I invite you to join me as, as we tackle this list, and I hope you find inspiration and motivation in today's video. First thing in the morning is usually when I start a load of laundry. Um, so I came down this morning and I got all the towels washed and I think every towel in the house was dirty today. And uh, now that my tea is done and I'm ready, I feel ready to face the day, um, we hang, as you see here, 98% of our laundry, even in the winter. This really saves on our electricity bill. And we have to run the electric fireplace out here in the new room build that David built last summer fall. Um, for not only more storage, but to help keep that very expensive treadmill you see over in the corner there. It does not like getting very cold and we needed somewhere to keep it that was safe and there's just no room in the house. So if I'm running this fireplace anyway to help keep the room at a decent temperature, we might as well use it to help dry laundry and then we're not using the dryer. So I got all of these racks um, at Amazon. They had the best price on them and I can link them down below for you. We love them. They're easy to set up. They hold a lot and they are very convenient. Next, I am going to get my frozen leaf lard out of our freezer and I am going to melt that down today in my crock pot. And you will see that in a later video of how I am preserving this and what I'm using to hold it. Last year I did mason jars and they were fine, but maybe not as easy to get out of the jar when I actually needed to use some of the lard. So um, I have bought some different things this year to try. And now we're on to my least favorite chore, putting away all the dishes. Um, the dishwasher was pretty full last night, so I'm just putting away the uh, few that I had to hand wash. And I don't know if you all are like me, but if my sinks are full of dishes and dirty and just, I feel like the whole kitchen is filthy and dirty and I just cannot deal with it. I, I need to have my sinks clean and empty when I start my day. Normally this is Grace's chore, but she was keeping the dogs busy for me so I could actually film without any interruptions and clickety 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 of the dog's nails. They are so smart. The second I start setting up my tripod and camera, they know that I'm gonna be in the kitchen and they think maybe they're gonna get food. There, now my sinks are empty. I'm gonna hand wash my sourdough container. Um, I hand wash this, I don't put this in the dishwasher. And I can get my sinks all nice and clean and shiny, at least maybe for an hour before they've got dirty dishes in them again. But I can feel better now. My sinks are clean, they're empty and I can get started on the next thing on my list. Oh look, three more empty jars to add to the shelves. So here, um, I actually bought these rolls of flannel fabric from the Dollar Tree, and I have been using reusable paper towels now for, oh my gosh, it's been almost a year, I think, but the to buy them has gotten quite expensive. I was buying them at HomeSense, and I think a packet of like, six or like twenty dollars now which is just ridiculous yes you can reuse them but that seems like a lot and i got all of these for a dollar fifty so i can get i think at least two paper towels out of each one of these rolls so very cost effective so i'm just cutting out um cutting off all the stickers which are horrible why do you wrap these in stickers they just stick to the flannel some of them terribly i'm going to get them washed up and um yeah, cut and sewn uh, the edges so I can have some more. Um, I'm really loving them. They they wipe up wonderfully. And the cost of throwaway paper towels right now here has gotten out of control. It's insane. And I think I'm going to make some reusable, in hair quotes, Lysol wipes for lack of a better word. They'll be homemade with um, vinegar and some essential oils. And then we can just rewash them when we're done with them instead of uh, using the throwaway paper towel. Now it's time to start organizing our store. Um, I have a very, as I said, I have a very busy week and I want to do, I have um, some canning projects 
that I have scheduled to do in the next couple of weeks. Um, partly because it was on the plan, but also there's an, um, another collaboration in March about canning that I am joining. So um, I want to get organized for it. And this is just a few, because <laughs> a lot of them are out in the garage. This is just a few of the jars. Where are they? Down here, up here, and in the garage that we have emptied just since January. Like, that's crazy. And it's got me thinking a lot about how this year I'm canning differently. Um, my plan is to focus more on meats, um, canning meats, and meals in jars. Um, I find that is what we really need and love. And I also think I'm going, I said I wasn't going to buy any more jars, but I think I'm going to invest in some of the half pints because some things especially... I only need a small amount and even the, sorry, not half pints, the quarter pints, the half pint sometimes is still too much and it goes to waste and that hurts my heart, like physically <laughs> hurts my heart. So um, I think I'm definitely going to start looking around for the little teeny um, quarter pint jars, some more of them. I have some, but not enough because I didn't think it was worth it. It's funny how as your family changes and grows and different, you know, if any kids move out or in our case, we have kids with, um, uh, they're neurodivergent, so they have totally different uh, diet needs than David and I. It's funny how, you know, you, you, you it's not funny, but, you know, it's just kind of evolves and how you change. Um, it's like not stocking up in as much as we used to because the kids are older now and they both have their own sources of income for some, some things. And they'll buy certain things now that we don't necessarily buy because um, either it's not something we buy or it's something they like or they want to buy it. Um, but yeah, so there's definitely going to be some things changing and I'll be talking more about that in the coming weeks about my canning plans for the summer. Um, also, uh, make sure you stay in tune. I'll be filming a video about, um, my garden plans and my growing plans for this year. It's kind of shocking <laughs> and rebellious maybe, um, and very experimental, but that's what I'm going to try. But first, before I get st um, straightening up, I noticed that my, sorry, oh, I opened the curtains so we could have a little bit better light in here, but I'm going to close it just for a minute. My La Pot needs water um, very bad. It's funny because I just gave it water, but it's definitely going through more water lately. And that's probably why I've lost some of my lettuces, though we did harvest lettuce a couple of times. Um, I'm going to turn it off. Maybe that will help with the light for a minute. Um, there. Haha, ha, that's better. So if you can see here. Ooh, hot chocolate. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Hey, who took my hot chocolate? Make sure you hit the bell so that you don't miss any new videos. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. I harvested quite a few of the lettuces and there's still two growing, but I think these two are done. Oh, I actually have some cilantro that's trying to grow. Um, haven't had much luck with it in this, but it's pretty, I know why it's skinny because I had to bring this up so high for the tomatoes, but it definitely needs water. So I am going to fill it up. The app told me and also the screen on here told me. I'm going to turn the light back on <laughs> so I can see how much water it's getting. Because this little symbol right here shows me. And it was over half empty. And I literally just watered this a few days ago. So she's definitely going through a lot of water. And we're okay, you didn't see that on camera, but I spilt a lot of water <laughs> from the La Pot. Um, if you are thinking about getting one or have one, make sure you cover the in the holes with the little black covers that kind of helps keep the water in. So yeah, it took me a few minutes and Grace's help because we had a flood. Okay, it's just been, I my morning has just been like that all morning. Okay, this is the first section that I am going to start up there. We're going to keep, we're going to go check on the garlic that I put up there last year. And I have some onions, I think, and some potatoes in those bags. If you all remember when I bought them from Amazon and I'm going to see how they fared. So, oh. well, my 
my garlic still looks amazing. I'm not worried about that. That's looking great. Um, this was the one we had the onions in. I'm not liking the stain I'm seeing there. So they have a little zipper here that you can unzip. And they're pretty much dust. There's nothing left to those onions. So I'm gonna throw them out and then I'll wash that bag. And these are the last, uh, oops, I don't need to do that, I guess. The last of the Kennebec potatoes that we got last year from a farmer. They got eyes all over them. So there's only like four left in there. So I am going to get rid of those and um, wash the bags up and get ready for this year. So that's gonna pretty much, other than the garlic that's gonna be up here, that's pretty gonna leave this empty. Started putting the vitamin water that I have been buying. And I actually bought two more bottles when we uh, took Aiden to work this week um, at the Dollar Tree. It's a little bit cheaper at the Dollar Tree, they, but they used to be a buck fifty. Now they're two dollars, which that's about thirty cents cheaper than the other places I'm getting them. But I'm not gonna make a special trip to Dollar Tree just to buy it. But if I'm in there, absolutely I'll get a few. So they only have the one kind that I like there. That's it. Okay, so now we have lots of space. I've got to decide what I'm going to put up here. Probably stuff we're not going through as quick. This is all my seed gem corn from last year. It was my first year growing it. I made a lot of mistakes, but I'm hoping to correct them this year. So I'm going to be replanting that this spring. Or, yeah. And um, trying it again. There's a lot more here than I'm probably going to need. So I'm probably not going to plant all of these. But we didn't even try any because it never got big enough to really try. But we will definitely um, be growing that again. Another reason I want to do this today is because some of the jars, when I've gone to open them, the seals have been broke. And I'm not impressed <laughs> at all. And then part of that could be my error. Absolutely. So this is applesauce from 23. I know I am not going to be eating that anytime soon because we're still working on applesauce from 2022. So I think I'm going to put that up here. And I'm checking all my lids again just to make sure everyone's sealed. Boy, you can tell it's Monday. <laughs> I'm actually going to put some of this. Whoops. You're a little taller now. I forgot. I'm going to put some of this in the refrigerator so we can have some apple juice this week. And um, it's actually been very good. Uh, I thought it would be very concentrated and we would add water to it, but no, um, it's fine this way. So I'm going to go put a couple of these in the refrigerator and then we'll come back and see what else I have to organize over here. Okay, apple juice is in the fridge and I went and got some boxes. I'm going to put all my empty jars in the boxes until I'm ready for them because I don't plan on canning for at least another week and they're taking up valuable space on my <laughs> shelving here. I got all the jars put into those boxes and wow I have a lot more space and I actually found some more of my homegrown basil that I didn't realize. I thought it was all out of and I just bought basil. So again this is why this should have been done a while ago. And to be honest, this was on my list of things to do weeks ago, but then like, <laughs> like I said, the plague hit us here. And uh, I got to, it's, it's taking a long time to recover from that. That flu was no joke. Um, seriously, that, that took a long time to recover from. Okay, so Grace has kind of taken over this shelf for her things. And I actually think that's a good idea. So I'm going to bring over more of her stuff and put it on this bottom shelf here. I'm going to put it up there with the um, vitamin water and all that applesauce. I'll probably end up moving my vitamin water when I get more, but I will have more space for it here eventually. I'm opening these because one of these is open. 
when I was sick with the flu, all I wanted was peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> it was weird. So it's none of them. Okay, the open one must be with the peanut butter, which would make sense. Okay, so we got those up there. Do flam. Use fluff during Christmas when I make whoopie pies. But I am going to be making whoopie pies soon, I think, because Aiden did amazing on his first semester report card. So I want to make him uh, straight A's. <laughs> I want to make him a little treat um, for that. And he, you all know, whoopie pies are his thing. So I think I'll probably make him some. This is just my decorating stuff I use. Again, not uh, that often. So I'm going to put it on the bottom shelf here and get that out of the, it was over here with all the food and stuff. So, okay, we are getting there. getting a lot done and just those few little shelves so now I'll be able to put the bot soup over there I'm just I'm gonna take one one shelving unit at a time I'm just seeing what else we have here so I have one this is all the canned pork I have left which is why I'm working on meats in the coming weeks so much lemon curd I mean I need to make David like a lemon mousse or something so I can use up a lot of this lemon curd. Um, we are going to put you up here just for now. I'll come back for it. I know I'm going to put it somewhere else. So we have some turkey soup here. And we have, oh, I have one jar of beef stew left. That's good to know. I have two jars of turkey soup left. So that's oh, two big jars. And then we have three little jars. If you hear water, yeah, it's just my La Pot. Um, it's not leaking anymore. The towel I put under it got soaked. So it's all leaking. I'm going to need either Aiden or David's help later to, um, someone's going to hold that up because I can't. It's too heavy. Hold it up while I put a fresh towel under. So for now, there's a bucket and a bunch of towels catching all the water. Oh, what a day. <laughs> it's definitely Monday. Um, so we have, how many do I have left? One, two, three. Ooh, I have three small things of chicken broth and one of beef. That's not good. <laughs> we use that a lot. So that's going to be going on my canning list. So chicken broth, beef broth. We need more canned meat. We need more broths. Okay. I think for the most part, we're done on this shelf. I'll be bringing some things over to the other shelves, but okay, let's go start the next shelf. Is where I'm changing how much I can, what I can, um, because we just, I, I know canning lasts a long time and there's some things I definitely don't mind having on my shelf. Um, and a little bit higher quantities. Cause if it's like a bad year for apples, you know, I still have lots of applesauce. Um, et cetera, et cetera. But <laughs> that being said, if I could even get rid of that whole shelf over there at some point, that would be amazing because I'd love to bring all my yarns maybe back into this area. I don't know. This room has been so many things over the last 10 plus years we've lived here. Um, this used to be my daycare space when I had my daycare. Um, it was totally decorated differently. It was a daycare. <coughs> excuse me and um then uh I used it as a craft room and then when I was outgrowing my store um in off the kitchen we started putting shelves in here and um I have reduced a lot of the amount of crafts I have I know I got to go through more things and honestly it's getting easier and easier at first it was really hard because man let me know if you all can relate as homesteaders as crafters as DIYers, do you, I find it hard sometimes to throw away a lot of things because man, you are going to find a use for it eventually, either around the homestead, around the house, like something, you're gonna find a use for it. 
But man, then you also get into the point where you start crossing the line into I better keep it in case I need it into hoarding. <laughs> Um, and it is getting easier. I just, I guess, cause some crafts just kind of fall out of trend or, um, maybe I'm not just into it as much, um, things like that. So I definitely, the garage is the new build is definitely a priority coming this spring to get that organized. Um, I'd love to keep just one whole shelf out there of all my canning stuff all in one spot. I'd, 80% of it's in one spot, but then I've got a spot over by one of our freezers that's got some more of the canning. And I'd like to be able to use my dehydrator out there. So if it's smelly stuff, it won't matter and it's out of the way and I can use it out there. Um, so yeah, lots of plans this, these next few weeks. Um, lots of plans. So this shelf we're working on next. This one is definitely the one that gets, I'm going to say, taken from the most because I have, for the most part, this is mostly, um, what is this mostly? Vegetables. Um, I say that, but I'm seeing, and tomato sauce, and <laughs> friends, look what I found because somebody put some more jars away for me. More jar empties. <laughs> more empties. But that's good. That's good. That means we're actually using the things I've been canning. So... Tomatoes. I'm gonna to be canning some tomatoes this uh, in the next coming weeks. Not because I'm necessarily getting low on it, because I still have every tomato from last summer in my freezer. Oh, every tomato. So, hmm. apple, barbecue sauce. <laughs> That's what that is. So this is all apple barbecue sauce. Well, I do not think unless we go through a lot of it this summer. We might not, I might not need to make more, but um, actually I might start dumping. I noticed Jessica at Three Rivers, she just dumps a lot of her jars of like barbecue sauce or um, tomato sauce or any of them. She just dumps a whole jar into a crock pot with her roast. I think I'm going to start doing that and not worrying about using it as, you know, barbecue sauce, like on ribs or something. Um, again, again, here is more juice. So we need to start drinking these juices. But we forget we have them. Okay. All right. I will say I'm so happy that I did do a lot of carrots in this size this year. Um, when it's just David and I for supper, this size is perfect for us. When it's all four of us, I use the bigger jars. Or if I'm making soups or stews or whatever, I use the bigger jars. So I'll definitely be doing more carrots in the smaller jars this year. We still have quite a few carrots left. I, I, I'm pretty happy with the amount... I have my list from last year of how many I made. Um, I think I'll stick with that amount this year um, because that was a good amount that has done us really well. Um, oh, and another. So these are cranberry juice. And the amount of corn I canned last year, that has been pretty, and I also froze quite a bit, so I'm gonna do the same amount because that has actually uh, done us well. The amount of green and yellow beans I did last year, that has done as well. Okay, now we're going to this one. Again, this doesn't need a lot of organization. What do we have here? Lots and lots of, is it blueberry pie? Blueberry pie filling. Wow, we have not touched that. I think it's because, it's hard friends because Dave and I are trying to eat healthier and lose weight together and I am not baking as much because if I bake it we eat it <laughs> so I'm trying but at the same time this is why we have all these jars of things so I'm struggling with how to balance that so I kind of only bake a little bit on the weekends and because we're trying to do 80 20 you know eat really well 80 percent of the time and 20 percent is when we I don't want to say treat ourselves because we're not animals, but you know what I mean. Um, indulge a little bit. But again, another reason probably why I'm not going to can a lot of certain things because we are trying to eat healthier. Um, I will say, I know for sure the sum I will be making more of the blueberry lemonade concentrate and the strawberry lemonade concentrate. We've been drinking a lot of that the last couple weeks and love it. Um, even Aiden's been drinking it. And it's it's delicious. And um, 
I still have, and then I might not be making a lot of strawberry jam. I won't be making any strawberry jam this year. Blueberry jam, yes, because it's my favorite. And that's actually one I do eat, um, go through. But I'll definitely be using blueberries and strawberries this year for lemonade. And um, I will share the, um, at the end of this, you'll see the video um, for when I made all the lemonade concentrate. It's very easy and it's so tasty. And I can also control how much sugar I put in. And also we're using organic cane sugar and that's all I use. You can't get away with no sugar. I'm sorry, you just can't. No matter how sweet your blueberries are or how sweet your strawberries are, lemon juice is sour. <laughs> so you're gonna need some, some uh, sugar. But we are finding the more I'm adding less and less sugar to things. So eventually, you know, maybe I think I used when I made that, I mean, that was a big batch, a big batch. And I think I used three cups of sugar to make my sugar water, which honestly, considering how many jars that's divided up in, it's really not that much sugar. And then you add three jars of water to the concentrate. So I'm, I don't think it's that much sugar we're getting in it. So so I have some cranberry sauce still. Again, I'm only the one who really eats the cranberry sauce. But I thought I had more jars and now it's probably up there. Forty of these are jams. And like we're just just not eating it. Like look at all these jams. We're just not eating it as much. So I definitely will not be making. And that's okay because I can use these size jars for barbecue sauces and some things that we maybe not need a big jar of. So that's good. Uh, I'm going to concentrate on using up a lot of the jams in the next couple of months so I can have those size jars. More apple juice. I knew I made more. <laughs> apple juice, apple juice. Good. David was saying he wanted some apple juice and we have it. So he does not need, we do not need to buy any. These shelves. Oh, these are the ones that are <laughs> messy because while we were sick, everything just kind of got thrown back in. Um, I am going to empty quite a bit of Aiden's cereal because he's probably got more than one box open, knowing him, into one of these cereal containers. And the only reason I have this grape jelly is for the Orioles when they come back in the spring. They love grape jelly. And that's the only reason I have it. And I, can, I have not been able to find just plain old, no name, Welch anybody, grape jelly, and um, Almost Perfect had this come in. So I grabbed it for this spring. Um, that's our, the grocery outlet, I guess it's called. That's the store that gets a lot of things from the States, and it's like your Alma salvage stores. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to bore you with showing you all this. I'm going to finish organizing it. I'll show you when it's done. And then I have to go see what next is on my list. Very, very busy week. I also have the dreaded dentist appointment this week. Well, friends, that is a nice looking organized store. Oh my goodness. And I'm so glad we did this because there are a few things we're running low on. Um, like some canned um, baked beans. Um, I found that we have tons of ketchup, so we need no ketchup. I put the bot soups over here. So we can keep an eye on them. Um, I even have empty spaces, even down there at the bottom where um, we store our water in case of emergencies. That's all empty there. Um, over here, um, believe it or not, that is organized down there. Um, it's just a lot of bags of things, which I'm going to find uses for. Um, anyone has any um, advice on or recipes to use freeze-dried fruits? Can you let me know down in the comments? Um, I'm going to be doing some research online today, but I have got to use those up. We bought them a while ago and they need to be used. Um, some of them aren't even open. So yeah, let me know. I'm thinking muffins maybe. Rehydrate them and throw them in the muffins or leave them alone and put them into muffins. I don't know. Um, but I definitely um, want to use those up. We've had them too long. They need to be used up. But, and I don't need any. This all tea. <laughs> different kinds of tea there's you know the different teas for different things plus my uh black loose leaf tea but yeah we're good for tea for a while gracie is actually getting a little bit low on her rice um we actually haven't bought any so that will be something in this week's weekly grocery shop we get and yeah all up there it looks so good i also found six things of gelatin that i forgot i bought and i was going to put that on my list for this week so i'm glad i didn't so yeah it looks uh, amazing 
definitely was overdue to be done. Over here, first one we started with, that looks great. And for the most part, that's pretty empty down there. It's got a couple of bins that's supposed to go in my refrigerator. So I'll be redoing my refrigerator at some point this week. Um, but that's a lot of empty space. So I'll definitely be figuring out what I'm going to be doing with that. And Grace loves having a shelf. That's all her things. She thought that was pretty neat. <laughs> so little to make her happy, but okay. And then all the way up top. So yeah, I am very happy. I finally got this done today. So oh, the collab that I am joining next month is actually an open collaboration that's hosted by Constance from Good Life Farm. Um, sorry, it's Cosmopolitan Cornbread now. <laughs> she used to be Good Life Farm. I've been watching her videos. She was actually one of the first people I started watching on YouTube during the whole craziness of 2020. So it will be four years that I've been watching her. I love her videos. I love her style. Um, I just, you know, I love her. Um, relationship she has with Jesus and God and yeah anyway it's a great channel she has lots of great canon recipes all kinds of recipes so I will link her down below her channel down below so if you haven't checked her out go check her out and as I said she's opened the collaboration this year um, and she is going to be doing a giveaway um, too I'll talk about more of that when um, we're actually in March and I am making videos for that open collaboration but it's canning March Madness, and um, I actually had a lot of things I was going to can in March anyway, so I might as well put them into the collaboration um, and and share them there. Um, I've got lots of big plans for this uh, spring, summer, and fall. Um, we have we have put up some of the homesteading things a little bit on the back burner this year. Um, we talked about this in a live, but I know not everybody was able to catch the live, so we are God willing hoping to move next summer put our house up for sale and move uh down east to our forever home slash homestead um once agent aiden has graduated high school next year now i can't believe my baby graduates high school next year that just blows my mind now that being said we know we have to be realistic it could not be next it might not be next summer a couple more things have to fall into place for us to do that but that Anyway, things need to be done around the house in order to put it up for sale. So a lot of the homesteading things are going on the back burner while we get some of the things done in the house that need to be done um, to help get it ready for sale. Um, and funds are un not unlimited. <laughs> funds are limited. So we had to pick and choose. So there'll be no more new chickens this year, which I'm sad about. We won't be doing meat birds this year um, or turkeys just because, like I said, we just we have to be realistic about what we can do and what we need to do. We are going to be revamping my herb garden. Um, we have planned for that, and I'm so excited to share my plans with you for that. Herb garden is my favorite part of my garden. I've said it many, many times, and I'm sure I'll say it again. It's my favorite part. I love herbs. I love growing herbs. I use herbs in so many things, and I've discovered big time that I need to grow a lot more basil than I did last year. Basil and oregano. My oregano didn't do so great this year. Um, it's an older plant. But um, I had some problems with um, this weird mildewy fungus at the beginning of spring and I had to cut it all back. And I think that kind of affected how much because normally I cut that thing seven, eight times in the year to get more oregano to keep growing. And that didn't happen this past year. So, um, yeah, so I definitely need to grow more basil and oregano this year. I use those. Those are the two main things I use. I, I use those every Friday in the homemade pizza sauce. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, so uh, some things are taking the back burner with the homestead this year. Um, just because we, this could be my last gardening year. God willing, this could be my last gardening year here at this homestead. Um, and so I'm changing things up. I'll talk about more of that in another video so it doesn't make this video super, super long. And yeah, I, I have so many videos coming out in the next uh, couple of weeks. My brain's been churning um, now that I'm actually starting to feel a bit better and my creativity is coming back and I have so much I want to share with you. And I also want to give a huge thank you. Um, I wish I could thank you all personally. I reached 20,000 subscribers this past weekend. I, I, it's an understatement to say that I am shocked, grateful. I feel very blessed. I am just over the moon. 20,000 subscribers. It was my goal for this whole year to reach 20,000 by the end of the year. And you all helped me raise, reach it this past weekend. So I cannot thank you enough. Um, I just can't. Thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate it. I have some merchandise that I've been designing and 
Um, I've actually bought a few things myself and for David, um, a sweatshirt and a couple other things. And if you check down below, um, there'll be um, a link you can go to. I have reusable grocery bags. I have t-shirts, tank tops. I even have things for dogs. Not everything is Bucket List Homestead um, logo on it. Um, there's some other things that I have made, um, just sayings or things I've made on other t-shirts myself but that's not cost effective for me to make them. And this way um, I've partnered with uh, Spreadshirt to um, make it a little bit easier. So make sure you check that out down below. Um, I can't believe I'm saying I have merch. <laughs> I feel so big time. <laughs> Thank you for coming along with me while we organize the store. Make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss any of the videos that are coming out in the next few weeks. Until then, take care, God bless, and we'll see you all soon.